it's the morning. I'm tired, but I gotta hit the highway to get to the fertility clinic and see if I need to take my Orgolutrin or not. They didn't give me any yesterday because they weren't sure if I needed to trigger last night, but since I didn't trigger last night, I may have to take my Menopure and Orgolutrin this morning, but I'm totally out. So what am I supposed to do? <laughs> anyway, morning time. Morning crazies. Um, I'm going to go hit the highway quick, quick and get to the clinic and see what is going to happen for today. Alright guys, just got to the clinic. Got to get in and get blood work and ultrasound done. I really hope I don't have to take no Orgolutrin and men up here today, but if I do, I got a booby. So let's go. So excited. Anyways, let's do this. Oh, guys, I am so happy that retrieval is on Tuesday. Oh my gosh. Starting to lose it. Oh, to keep my emotions and everything in control with this fatigue that I've been feeling it's crazy you know and I'm trying to fake the funk and go on and do what I gotta do um, with Michael I have to be at home with the kids I'm just exhausted after driving on the highway coming to the clinic so I take some time just to kind of wander the mall try to wake myself up I get a drink in there and just do my thing um, yesterday when I was actually driving home I had to steer off the highway because I was too tired the traffic was bad and I was too tired to drive I steered off the highway went into this parking lot I can't remember what store it was and I just kind of crashed it's crazy I'm just tired so anyway I'm back at the mall I actually have some energy this morning um, I feel a little better than I did yesterday probably because I'm so pumped that retrieval is on Tuesday I'm still tired like my body's still feeling it but um, I wanted to go into the mall I seen something yesterday everybody says you create it it will come so I seen this little baby boy jumper it's not expensive or anything it's just really cute and I kept thinking about it all day and all night and this morning and with true retrieval I thought I'd go and get a little good luck charm so um, I'm gonna go do that so let's go pick it up oh it's Sunday I'm here just a little too early everything's still closed all right guys so I'm just sitting here uh, I'm starting to get a little tired but um, I don't know we were supposed to go to a Métis um, Christmas party today but with me driving to Burlington and then driving back to Mississauga picking getting the kids ready picking the kids up and Michael and then heading back to Brantford I was like there's no way like with the fatigue I'm feeling there's no way but I'm in Burlington Brantford isn't that far away from Burlington so I'm feeling a little pumped and everything with this knowing retrievals on Tuesday and I just thought you know what I should go I haven't seen my parents in so long I miss them so much I miss them like crazy so I'm gonna head over to the party um 
My mom is actually Métis and um, she's part of the organization and everything and she puts together an amazing Christmas party. She put an amazing picnic um, together last summer or September. I actually made a little vlog um, with the kids in it. I'll put the link below so you can see that. Um, so I'm gonna go do that. I'm just still waiting for the stores to open in this mall. I'm gonna get a little something. It's only like 10 bucks, you know, but I thought I'd get it for just a little good luck and to get myself feeling better. I miss my family, everybody. Like, uh, doing this on my own because Michael has to be there for the kids is hard. So I really need to get some love, you know? <laughs> I want to go see my niece and my nieces. Hopefully my nieces are there. Oh my gosh, I get to see baby Aria. Anyway, I'm going to go do that. So... Alright, so it's still closed. So I'm just going to go into Hudson Bay and just wander. is just killing me right now. Now check this jacket out. Oh my god, why does finances have to be so tight right now? Oh, I'm moving away from the clothes. Getting away. Alright guys, finally got in here. And I'm going to pick up this onesie. And head back or head to Brantford try not to look at anything else but the store so you guys are helping me with um, not looking at things I'm going right for the baby stuff actually picked up uh, can you see that uh, six month six to nine month old and then I'm um, gonna go check out and head to Brantford and go see my fam oh I miss them so much let's go like the music I'm rocking to. I'm trying to get in the spirit, you know? The house is a little grumpy right now because finances are tight and I'm trying the hardest to be positive for my little bambino in order for this IVF to work. So, to rock the Christmas carols. Anyway, I'm here to, hold on, hold on. Anyway, um, I'm here to go pick up my grandma to go over to the Mady Christmas party. So, Let's see what she's saying. You got it? I will. There Click. we are. <laughs> Chin Ron. Down at that end. There's my dad. Say hi, dad. <laughs> hi. Here we go. <laughs> May the force be with you. Of course, I'm going to be Spock. I need to be. <laughs> That's so true. He does that so well, huh? <laughs> So this actually, um, if anyone uh, does Scottish dancing, uh, we actually sort of modified it from the Scottish sword dance. So in Scotland they use swords, um, they sort of take a cautionary approach and use sashes instead. And because sashes were what we were wearing, uh, so they were just kind of, we didn't really like swords, we liked sashes more. Um, and so, yeah, this, uh, this is kind of a unique dance for that we, we like to do. So here we go, the Métis Sash Dance.
you know how to do it, Peanut. <laughs> you need a spoon for that one, don't you? Her and spoons is like, um... I see for a second. I see for a second. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 you get that then. Spoons are toys. Oh, just use your fingers. Spoons? I don't know what it she is. won't. It's actually funny. If, if there's utensils that she can use, she will not use her fingers. Now, if you give it to her... Hey, Missy. Hello. Eat your part. Hey, you. See the person baby? beside me. Hey. Hello. <laughs> Willow. Hello. Want to take your fork back? Fly. <laughs> I know it's so I'm going to scoop by it. I No more. <laughs> <laughs> you have enough. Stay how it all goes. Yeah. And then we'll go from there. Yeah. So if okay. I do come on Thursday, I'll try to come earlier so that way there's yeah. less people. Yeah, if you don't have to go to the clinic then, right? Eh? No, no. I, I, w oh, um, wow. I think all they do is just call me. Yeah. They'll call me and let me know how the, the, thing the is. stuff's yeah. going. Yeah. Okay. All right. Love you, Grandma. All right. Okay. Bye. All right, guys, so I'm just leaving. I'm gonna go ahead back home. That Christmas dinner was so fun. It was so nice to see everybody. I miss my family so much. Oh, my nieces are to die for. Oh, they're so cute. But anyways, I'm gonna head back to my place. I gotta actually go grocery shopping and get some food for the kids. And then get back home and do my trigger. So, let's do this. Hey, so I just reached Mississauga. I'm just about to go into the grocery store, get some food for the fam for the week, and then go home, relax for a little bit, kind of do some meditation, hopefully, and do my trigger. Yes, I'm so happy to move forward. Whew, I'm so happy. But anyway, I had such an amazing day. I haven't had a good day like that in a bit. This process has been so tiring. But I don't know what tired is yet. Because if this works, I mean, this is going to work. And then I'm going to experience what fatigue really feels like. So I'm trying not to complain. I'm trying to wear a smile on my face. It was so nice to go to the Mady Christmas party and see my family there. All of them are supporting me through this so well. And they had so many questions. And just to see my niece and her lovely dancing. Wasn't she a good dancer? Oh my gosh. She was just... She, she was spinning around in circles and having a blast. And to be able to see my niece Aria again and... Uh, it was a nice day. It was so well needed. It's hard living in a city where I don't really know anybody and being away from my family. It's it's tough. Through this process, it's tough. So it was really nice to just get away from everything. As much as I felt like I was doing wrong, mentally, I was like, oh, you know what? I need to, um, I need to take care of myself. Not only financially but emotionally you know because I have started feeling like I can't do anything like I'm so tired I'm so drained but I got the energy back love goes a long way man and without family I honestly don't know where I'd be so I gotta go and get some food for the fam and head back and see what the kids are up to and see how Mike's doing. Hopefully he's feeling a little better. He's been really, you know, in the dumps. Finance, finances right now are very tough. And it's so hard to make the choice to oh, try to be happy and just keep going. But I have to do it for this process. I have to do it. So I'm doing what I got to do. So. All right, guys. So we're back at home trigger everybody's really tired from the day so I'm really tired too but it's almost nine o'clock and I gotta do this so here we go oh 
Oh my god, you guys. My cat is driving me crazy. She's so loud. Everybody's sleeping. I was just laying down on the couch watching some YouTube and she just won't be quiet because she wants me to play fetch with her. Check this out. Oh my god, she's too tired. I'm going back to the couch. I'm going to watch some YouTube and relaxing. I did my trigger and it's burning a little bit afterwards. So I'm just gonna go chill for a little. And I guarantee you, once I lay down and start playing some YouTube, she's gonna come into the room and start making noise. But, oh, you see her? So, I'm just relaxing. Everybody's sleeping. I should be sleeping too. I'm gonna get to sleep pretty soon. But, oh my god, Izzy's so funny. She used to, well, sometimes she still puts, like, she'll pick up the paper ball in her mouth and then she'll bring it to me, drop it in front of my feet, and then I throw it. But normally when we're doing it on the stairs, I throw it up the stairs and she hits it down. That's her little game. So, yeah. Life with a cat. Alright guys, I want to have an easier morning, so I'm going to make the kids lunch from now, and then tomorrow morning shouldn't be so rush rush, so yeah. Guys, do you see this? Bags under my eyes, I am so tired, I'm calling in a night calling it a day, packing it up, gonna start tomorrow off and see what it holds, so I'm going to get some Z's, night y'all.